Infrastructure is an essential prerequisite for a robust economy and instrumental for growth and development. Infrastructure sector has recently taken a hit due to slowdown of economy affected by an increasing physical deficit, high inflation, bad monsoon and weak global queues. In the budget, series of steps will be taken to upgrade the sector. Public-private partnership mode is seen as fastest and most effective means for infrastructural development. India has emerged largest public-private partnership market but still faces numerous challenges like rigid contractual agreements among others. In order to give impetus to public-private partnership, new corpus of rupees 500 crores has been set up. Development of ports are critical for boosting trade. Therefore, new ports are proposed to increase on connectivity. Over 11,000 crore will be allocated for the development of outer harbour project in Turticorn. Special economic zone will also be developed in Kandla and JNPT. Comprehensive policy will announce for shipping building industry. The budget gives special emphasis on developing inland waterways. A Jal Mark Vikas project has been planned to develop navigation between Allahabad and Haldia on River Ganga. This project will be completed in next six years with estimated cost of Rs 4,200 crore. Air and road transport are an important part of modernization of any country. The budget proposes new airports in Tier 1 and Tier 2 cities to expand the reach of air travel. To improve the bad conditions of road, large amount of investment is proposed with special focus on Northeast. 500 crores has also been allocated for development of industrial corridors. Well, a new scheme, ultra modern, super critical based thermal power technology, is proposed for promoting cleaner and greener thermal energy output. Comprehensive measures for enhancing domestic coal production and rationalizing coal linkages for cost optimizations are also proposed. In the field of renewable energy, ultra mega solar projects are proposed in Rajasthan, Gujarat, Tamil Nadu, Ladakh, and Jammu and Kashmir. Some of 500 crores has been allocated for solar power. Green energy corridors will be established to facilitate renewable energy. Usage of PNG will rapidly scale up as it is clean and efficient to deliver. 15,000 km gas pipelines will stretch throughout the country. An EBIS platform is being created for speedy clearances of projects to create business and investor friendly environment. National industrial corridor will be set up and smart cities will be linked. Prime Minister Narendra Modi's vision of 100 smart cities is largely seen in this budget. MSME is the base of economy and major employment generator. A committee including members, finance ministry, RBI, MSME is constituted to give suggestions on investment required in this sector. A fund of 10,000 crores is proposed for establishing entrepreneurs. The textile sector also gets a boost from the budget. Trade facilitation center and crafts museum are proposed. Six additional textile mega clusters at Bareilly, Surat, Lucknow, Kutch, Bhagalpur, Mysore will be set up. Proposal to set up Hustkal Academy for preservation, revival of handloom and handicraft is also there. And lastly, starting off Pashpina promotion program. All the above proposals, if implemented, will change the picture of infrastructure and industrial sector. Business Desk, TT News.